This is Ben Petty and we've just finished a couple days of Apple training at BCLUW High School and I've created a little tutorial here that shows some of the new learning that we gathered using the new Mac Snow Leopard operating system and this deals with PDF files and how you can highlight, add notes, embed links and in other ways use that data more effectively with students. As we know much of our research being done now is online and I think this will make it easier for uh, both staff and students to work with those articles. So as an example I'm going to pull up an article that our staff read a couple days ago called the creativity crisis. So when I search for that that was a Newsweek article so I'm gonna go ahead and pull that up. One of the things we learned was to eliminate some of the clutter here. There are a couple ways of doing so. We see some ads and photos that really don't have anything to do with this article on creativity. So I'm going to go up and click on Reader. And I've noticed in some cases with, with certain articles when I do that it does bring up photos from the article. This one did not. Brings up text but eliminates a lot of that information that may distract students. However in this case, this I know I have a pretty long article and this only gives me one page of the information. So I'm going to get out of that for right now. And I know that in an article when it has a print icon embedded, that oftentimes gets rid of a lot of the ads and photos as well. So I'm just going to go ahead and click on print to do that, even though I'm not going to print this. I am going to create a PDF file from it. And that's a file then that I can email to students, I can upload it to study with Spark, and keep this text in place. So. To create a PDF file, I again need to, to go File Print. I'm not going to print it. The left hand side, see the, the button for PDF. I'm going to save it as a PDF. I'm just going to call out the Creativity Crisis again, and for now, I'll just save it to my desktop. I'll minimize Safari, and here it is on my desktop as a PDF file. Now some of the new learning we found here is under this preview menu. I'm going to go to view show annotations toolbar and now at the bottom of the screen I see several tools that I can use here to highlight text, uh, add notes to text and do a variety of other features. So to start with when we went through the article a couple days ago one of the things I thought was important was this definition of creativity. I'm going to go down and click the highlight tool talks about the definition of creativity as the production of something original and useful. And the type of thinking I involved I thought was important as well. A little later on it says to be creative requires divergent thinking, generating many unique ideas, and then convergent thinking. Bringing those back together, combining them into the best result. So I'm going to highlight those two things. I think those are important in the article. Another feature here is to add a note. And I also recall here something that jumped out at me as an educator. It talks here about a recent IBM poll of 1,500 CEOs identified creativity as the number one leadership competency of the future. Now this article just came out last month, so I know this is some pretty recent research. I think that's pretty important to us, so I'm going to click the note icon, add it here, and then on the left hand side, And just type in, I think this is one reason why it is so important one reason why it is so important to develop creativity in our students at BCLUW. We know it's the new number one leadership competency of the future. So that's another feature you can add notes along the side. So either you can do that for your students or maybe you want to ask your ask your students to add notes as you go through it. A couple other features. Uh, let's see. Another thing that I thought was important from the article, it talks some about new brain research and neuroscience. Now there aren't subheadings within this article and that's one of the struggles sometimes in going through it, but I think that neuroscience section of the article is important. So I want to add my own little subheading there. I'm going to click on the text box button 
And I know this is where it starts talking about the new story emerging from neuroscience. So I'm just going to create my own little subheading since it doesn't have it. Just call it new brain research. So I think that's important. I don't want to easily be able to find it. Okay. Something else we can do. Let me scroll back up. Now I talked earlier about eliminating some clutter. Now above my note, well, we didn't get rid of all of it. It talks about a weekly podcast and radio program, Obamanomics, immigration, spy games, and so on. Uh, I know this was on the website, and it's not information that I need the students to look at. It might be a little distracting to them. What I can do is highlight that information. Oop, hold on before I do that. Uh, it's another good thing to remember. When you want to get out of, it's, it's creating a text box, because that's the last thing I just did. So I need to create text, I need to click the text box again to get rid of that. Now I'm just working back in the article again. I'm going to highlight that paragraph. I don't want that information, so at the bottom I'm going to find the strike through tool and get rid of it. So now I've eliminated that from the article. Uh, at least let folks know that that's not part of it. So those are just a few things you can do to help highlight, add notes, strike out information you don't need, create new subheadings, variety of things that either you can do to make the article more user-friendly or ask your students to do if you want them to summarize information.